हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेन वी आर लिफ्टिंग समथिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए मोबाइल क्रेन ओके देन द वेट ऑफ द क्रेन वेट ऑफ द क्रेन देन द लोड दैट इज बींग लिफ्टेड अप एंड द रिगिंग वेट द रिगिंग एलिमेंट दैट वी आर यू द रिगिंग वेट ओके दीज विल ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम द क्रेन टू द ग्राउंड नाउ यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द फिगर द टायर्स आर फ्री टायर्स आर बेसिकली फ्री द होल फोर्स फ्रॉम द मीडियम द होल फोर्स फ्रॉम द क्रेन टू द ग्राउंड इज गोइंग बाई द आउट रिगर आउट रिगर ओके तो बेसिकली ड्यूरिंग द लिफ्टिंग टाइम द टायर्स आर फ्री एंड द होल वेट ऑफ द क्रेन प्लस वेट ऑफ द एलिमेंट दैट इज बींग लिफ्टेड एंड द रिगिंग वेट एलिमेंट इज टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड टू द ग्राउंड बाई आउट रिगर ओके तो दिस इज सिंपल फंडा नाउ दिस नाउ दिस एज द फोर्स इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम आउट रिगर टू द ग्राउंड इफ द ग्राउंड ऑन विच दिस क्रेज क्रेन इज प्लेसिंग हैविंग सफिशियंट बियरिंग कैपेसिटी देन इट इज ओके it will not collapse but its capacity is less okay it doesn't have sufficient bearing capacity suppose the force on the out trigger is coming out to be 10 ton but this ground having the bearing capacity of 8 ton okay then this ground will collapse up as the crane is on the ground then the crane will also tilted there will be accident fatal injuries and death etc so what we basically does uh, we basically does the calculation we basically does the calculation how this calculation is being done so we know that pressure is equal to force over area okay if we increase the area area then this pressure force basically decreases so what we does in beneath the out riggers beneath the out riggers these are basically out riggers and this is basically out rigger so b beneath the out riggers provided the steel plate so that the area increases and the pressure is distributed over much area okay so this is the funda so in this lecture we will understand how we will calculate the required size of the steel plate under crane out rigger or basically if going into the deep i first tell you one thing in order to calculate the required size of the steel plate we first have to calculate the pressure on the out riggers basically how much pressure is uh, out trigger exerting onto the ground okay so this is called as ground bearing pressure so basically the pressure that is being exerted by the out trigger on the ground is basically ground bearing pressure okay so now we have to calculate this pressure there are two ways uh, one is the crane analysis software and the second is the theoretical uh, process okay now if we talk about the crane analysis software so what this basically crane analysis software you have to understand one thing that i will try to explain that will be better for you if uh, we are going to the uh, going by the theoretical way we are going by the theoretical way then theoretical way simple way theoretical means uh, pressure is equal to force over area that is the theoretical way of doing the things okay now here what is the force force includes weight of crane weight of crane plus weight of element that is being lifted plus weight of rigging element weight of rigging element okay and what is the area area is the area of these four out riggers these four out riggers as they are four out riggers so four into area of each out rigger area of each out rigger in this way you can basically calculate the pressure but this is not the this is not the best thing because i will explain you why this is this is the this is the short of but uh, this is the short of uh, work that that a normal graduate will do but we are engineers okay so what we have to do is we have to go to the crane analysis software there are crane analysis software are being provided so what happens when this this crane is having some weight and it is being lifted up when this crane swings up okay it is not like this the crane just only lift it like a lift it will swing at the crane will if it is a boom then this boom will swing it will pick from this location and will Uh, put some element over do the erection over the other location so during this rotation or the swing movement swing movement of the boom the pressure on uh, the pressure force on all out riggers varies up so what we have to do we basically uh, with the help of the crane analysis software we generally calculate the maximum force that is coming on the or the maximum pressure force that is coming on the out trigger so there are two ways you can do uh, either way but best way is using the crane analysis software
it is clear now the, up to this point it is clear for all of you okay now what approach we are doing it up now the, some people will uh, similarly simply say that just using the formula pressure is equal to force over area we can calculate but it is not like this i will explain you why it is not like this okay just hold for a while ha huh? why it is not like this i will explain you okay now this is the plate now there is some pressure force exerted from this outrigger and we have provided the this 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 is basically this is basically the steel plate now we have provided this is steel plate now there are two condition that we have to analyze first is the pressure is equal to force over area simple formula concept and the other is the bending how this bending comes into picture i will explain you okay when this exert some pressure this area is free so what happens this steel plate will bend something like this will bend something like this okay this it will bend like this basically the steel plate okay so what happens basically there is a uh, this this portion uh, if i will try to explain you why it is bent because this portion this portion okay the pressure is issued over this area this portion will act like a cantilever portion it is the fixed end this up to this end it is fixed but this is the free end what it happens like it acts like a cantilever beam cantilever being having some udl having some udl okay and when it is happens then cantilever will also bend will also bend so in this way this there we not doesn't have to consider only the forces we have to consider the bending stresses and uh, we have to check whether uh, during the calculation of the area of the plate or the pressure force calculation uh, we doesn't exceed the bending stresses of the bending stresses or the of steel basically we have to keep in the mind if the steel plate is provided we have to keep in mind the yielding stress yielding stress of the steel plates okay yielding stress doesn't reach if the it if it reach beyond the yielding stresses then the plate will bend up or the area will free then again there is no use of ms plate or the steel plates okay now so how we will approach so this is simple you hope you understand all this area now we will proceed further now we know that pressure is equal to force over area so area is equal to force over pressure so minimum area of steel plate is a simple funda minimum area of steel plate is equal to outrigger force over soil bearing pressure how it is calculated we will explain you suppose there is a there is a force coming on the outrigger suppose with the help of the crane software there is a force which is coming on the outrigger is 20 ton okay 20 ton is the uh, force that is coming on the outrigger 20 ton weight is coming on the outrigger now the soil bearing capacity on the soil on which this uh, uh, plate or the crane is being used up having the soil bearing capacity of 8 ton per meter square this is simple idea from which you are able to understand how we are we will proceed so what Uh, after the crane analysis software or after the theoretical we came to know that the outrigger the weight that is coming on the outrigger is 20 ton and the crane is position on the soil is having the bearing capacity of 8 ton meter square if it if the if uh, the pressure is more than 8 ton meter square the soil will collapse up okay so first of all we have to convert turn into the forces turn into the forces turn is basically mass and if you want to convert mass into weight then m into g so this outrigger force convert to 20 into 9.81 that is 196.2 kilo newton okay and 8 ton per meter square to 8 into 9.81 78.4 kilo newton per meter square so first of all we have to convert the forces in turn Uh, basically the force is not in ton it is basically ton is mass mass into g mg is weight basically okay to so 20 into 9.81 is basically the weight force similarly 8 ton per meter square if 8 into 8 ton it is mass ki respect mein hai then 8 into 9.81 that is 78.4 kilo newton per meter square so we have calculated this minimum area of steel plate barabar outrigger force over soil bearing pressure minimum area of steel plate is what outrigger force over soil bearing pressure so we have minimum steel plate size is outrigger force what is the force of the outrigger that is 20 ton we have converted into the force that is 196.2 kilo newton to 196.2 kilo newton divided by soil bearing pressure what is the soil bearing pressure that is 8 ton per meter square 8 ton per meter square so it is converted into 78.48 kilo newton per meter square what basically we does 
मिनिमम एरिया ऑफ स्टील प्लेट इज टू आउट ऑफ फोर्स डिवाइड बाय सॉइल बियरिंग प्रेशर तो इन दिस वे वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द मिनिमम एरिया ऑफ द स्टील प्लेट ओके नाउ सपोज लेट अस सपोज इट कम्स आउट टू बी 2.5 मीटर स्क्वायर इफ 2.5 मीटर स्क्वायर इट इज ओके देन इट कम्स आउट टू बी 2.5 मीटर स्क्वायर ओके नाउ दिस एरिया ऑफ द स्टील प्लेट रिक्वायर थ्योरेटिकली 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 इज 2.5 मीटर स्क्वायर बट देर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड एज फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज बेसिकली वी टेक वी बेसिकली एंड हैव मोर एरिया ओके वी कंसिडर द वर्स कंडीशन एंड इंक्रीज बेसिकली फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी क्या होता है फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज बेसिकली मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस ओवर एलावल स्ट्रेस तो वी कन्वर्ट दिस फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज रिकमेंडेड साइज ओवर मिनिमम स्टील प्लेट साइज ओके तो वी आर टेकिंग द डायमेंशन एज ट्वाइस द डायमेंशन दैट वी वॉन्ट टू हैव तो रिकमेंडेड साइज इज एफ ओ एस इन टू मिनिमम स्टील प्लेट साइज तो वॉट एवर द साइज दैट यू आर यू फाइंड फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज मिनिमम एरिया ऑफ स्टील प्लेट बराबर आउट एरिया फोर्स ओवर सॉइल बेयरिंग प्रेशर दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द स्टील प्लेट इफ यू टेक इन दू मार्जिन सपोज दिस एरिया कम्स आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर इफ यू टेक इन टू द मार्जिन इफ यू टेक फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी एज टू देन द एरिया रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू टाइम्स दिस इन टू इन टू टू पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर तो इन दिस वे वी आर टेकिंग सम मार्जिन तो इन दिस वे वी आर बेसिकली डिफाइंड अप होप दिस इज क्लियर तो लेट अस टेक द एरिया कम्स आउट टू बी 5.06 एरिया ऑफ द स्टील प्लेट कम्स आउट टू बी 5.06 वी हैव टेकन दिस एरिया एज 5.06 नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द फोर्स कंसीडरेशन वी हैव एनालाइज इट बेस्ड ऑन द फोर्स कंसीडरेशन नाउ देयर इज अनदर कांसेप्ट दैट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दिस पोर्शन This portion is basically a cantilever, cantilever with UDL. So we have to find the bending stresses. Okay, we have to find the bending stresses. Okay, for that, first of all, we have to uh, this area. Area already come to us. Okay, now this contact area pressure is equal to force over area. The a for area is five point zero six meter square. And what is the force? Force we already seen that on the outrigger. वॉट आर बेसिकली दिस इज द आउट रिगर ओवर दियर दिस आउट रिगर विल बी एक्सल्टिंग दिस फोर्स एंड दिस फोर्स आउट रिगर वी ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड इट इट इज ट्वेंटी टन ओके तो ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन दिस इज द फोर्स दैट इज बींग इंसर्टेड बाई द आउट रिगर ऑन द स्टील प्लेट एज दिस स्टील प्लेट इन कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द एरिया इट इज स्टिल नॉट बैंड अप दिस ट्वेंटी इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर दिस एंटायर प्लेट सर्फेस ओके दिस बाय द ब्लू वॉट एवर आई हैव सोन बाय द ब्लू दिस विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर एरिया तो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द प्रेशर ऑन द स्टील प्लेट और बेसिकली द स्टील प्लेट स्टील प्लेट द प्रेशर द नेट प्रेशर ऑन द स्टील प्लेट दैट इज वॉट एवर इज द फोर्स on the outrigger divided by area of the steel plate the what we have does basically this 196.2 kN divided by 5.06 to pa pa basically contact area pressure between the steel plate and the uh, between the steel plate and the uh, ground basically so we have find this now A steel plate is having some dimensions okay uh, i will first clear that that will be clear to you स्टील प्लेट इज हैविंग सम डायमेंशन ठीक है वी आर नाउ चेकिंग फॉर द बैंडिंग थिंग दैट विल बी क्लियर ओके ओके नाउ दिस आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दिस दिस ब्लू इज द आउट रिगर थिंग्स एंड दिस इज द डायमेंशन नाउ दिस स्टील प्लेट इज हैविंग सम डायमेंशन तो दिस स्टील प्लेट लेट एल टू एल टू दिस एल टू इज बेसिकली this l2 what l2 is basically udl cantilever beam with udl length is l2 okay and this is also l2 and the whole length of the steel plate is l so steel plate length is l is equal to 2.25 width of the steel plate let us consider 2.25 thickness of the steel plate is 25 mm we have taken the 25 mm thickness of the steel plate now if we in the we know the yield stress of the steel plate that is 350 mpa 350 mpa is the yield stress of the steel plate now this force whatever the force that is coming on to this uh, cantilever side this udl side this is this 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 basically this is basically cantilever beam with udl so if we want to calculate what is the force on this cantilever with udl so pressure is equal to force over area so force is equal to pressure into area and the area will be this area only this area the udl area only so area of the udl is length into width of the udl into the pressure uh, area uh, length into width is the area okay and uh, pressure basically pressure force is given 
this pa contact area force so here from this we find the force on this cantilever udl this is the force on the cantilever udl it is the force that is coming on this if this is the normal plate this is the uh, up to outrigger this is the cantilever udl so we have calculated the force on this cantilever udl basically this is udl uniformly distributed low force on the cantilever udl that comes out to be 72.39 kilo newton okay it is clear now this uh, now uh, uh, now i will explain further this is basically your uh, plate okay the in up to this length this is outrigger okay now from this length this is basically uh, cantilever portion now this cantilever portion will have some uh, neutral axis at this neutral axis it will try to bend like this it will try to bend like this okay and this neutral axis the distance of the neutral axis from the top fiber and bottom fiber will be is equal to thickness t by 2 t by 2 if you know if you remember the formula m y i is equal to sigma y y barabar e by r okay what is this y is that if uh, if there is some bending f sigma is equal to m y by i what is y y if i want to find the stresses maximum bending stresses so bending stresses like this only okay at that this is the neutral axis neutral axis at the center line this is basically the neutral axis from the maximum distance from the neutral axis uh, we have to find the maximum bending stresses so this is c is the maximum distance from the neutral axis okay now this uh, now this this is basically uh, i again explain you it is clear to you hope this is clear to you now again explaining one more point this uh, this is basically if I show you, so this is basically uh, cantilever beam with UDL. Okay, this is like this. Uh, you can calculate like this. Ground say we can consider this like this. Is basically UDL cantilever beam with UDL. Okay, now it will bend like this only. Okay, we have calculated this force. This UDL force is basically this force that we have calculated seventy two point three nine kilo newton. So this force is basically this. If this force if i want to find this maximum bending moment then force whatever the force is acting on this okay into the length it is into this maximum length so f into l2 by 2 this is whole uh, if i consider this from the center then f into l2 by 2 will be the maximum bending moment okay maximum bending moment in this way we are able to find the maximum bending moment okay now i is equal to bt cube by 12 it is simple i is equal to bt cube moment of inertia so m by i is equal to sigma by by from this sigma from this formula we will find out sigma is equal to m y by i okay now there are the bending stresses due to this cantilever portion will be calculated sigma is equal to m y by i now what we check the the value of this sigma whatever the value of the sigma and uh, if you are basically knows the steel the maximum yield stress of the steel sigma yield of the stress is 350 mpa and for general consideration maximum stresses that is applicable is 0 0.6 times the sigma yield stresses so these stresses the calculate the stresses that we calculate sigma suppose this is the stresses sigma of the plate sigma p this must be less than sigma max okay if these are beyond the sigma max that is 0 0.6 times the yield stresses then the plan, uh, plate will bend then the plate will bend up again i am uh, explaining you there this was the steel plate okay this is steel plate this is the area up to the outrigger apart from this this is basically behaves like a beam behaves like a beam with udl it will try to bend like this so we what we have find using m by i u, u is equal to sigma by y we have find the bending stresses in this portion now if this bending stresses has to be less than the maximum yield stresses so we have done that thing only and uh, the uh, other things we have calculated simply using the formula pressure is equal to force over area hope this lecture clears your all your doubt after checking for the bending stresses after checking for uh, all the things uh, then we can decide the size of the plate okay if the size if the if if suppose this stresses are more than this coming more than yield stresses then we have to increase the thickness of the plate as well as we have to increase the length of the plate hope you like this video keep supporting and subscribe thank you